You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Don't be your own worst enemy. Yeah, had a, had a bit of a break, so now I'm back. But And uh, you know what? I know I've had to address this subject several times, but often when people have trouble in life, it's not them. It's not them. In fact, I know I've talked about this, but it's a constant theme. It's a constant theme. I will probably talk about this again in another couple of months and then another couple of months after that, you know. I'm going to be 97 you know, in the bookstore that I'm going to retire to. And I will tell people, I'll say, don't be your own worst enemy. The person that's stopping you from accomplishing what you want to accomplish is right there in the mirror. And I can, I can, I can point that out to anybody. You can, you can see that with anyone, you know, because what happens is many people aren't introspective. You know, it's easy to blame them, the they's. You know, those people, it's easy to say, oh, they're keeping you from doing something. No, you're keeping you from doing something. You know, yes, they can do stuff to you. They can throw you in a hole. I mean, they can grab you, throw you in a hole. You know, and but are you going to stay at the bottom of that hole and just complain? Or are you just going to reach up and say, you know what? I'm going to climb out this hole myself. And, you know go bop that uh person that threw me in here <laughs> but the thing that's keeping you in that hole isn't the other person they can try but you the one have to say hey i need to i need to rise up i need to look in the mirror and because sometimes it's not even the other person throwing you in the hole sometimes you jumping in yourself Sometimes you, people, people like they, they, they doing stuff to themselves. That's the, that's the interesting part. That's the interesting part. Yeah, other people do stuff to us. Yeah, well, people might not like us, but same time we got control over our reactions. And then sometimes we'll just shoot, we'll self sabotage. And I see that there's a lot of people. There's some people that specialize in that. You know, they'll self-sabotage themselves. They could be, you know what, they could be ready. They could work hard on a job and be competent enough that people want to start offering them promotions, put them in a management training program or something, and then they will sabotage themselves. They'll start doing stuff. They'll start showing up to work or not working as hard and be in the same position. And then you, later on, one day, it's like, how come I'm not moving up? You're the one. <laughs> You're doing it to yourself. Or uh, you see it a lot in relationships. People will have a good person. They'll have a person that cares about them, the person who wants to see them succeed, a person that loves them even, but that person that self sabotages themselves. They'll do something to mess them up, mess themselves up. You know, you see it, you see it relationships, you see it just in everyday life. They will do something. I mean, the worst, the worst is um, using some type of drug or something that will destroy them on the inside. And part of it, you know, one of the things, part of it kind of can relate, uh, it's related to self-hatred. Like, if you don't really love yourself, <laughs> you're not going to do what's best for yourself. That's the thing. When you hate yourself and feel like you're less than, you're not the light that the creator intended you to be. That, you know, you're not as beautiful. When you say all of that and you say, wow, you start to hate yourself. And all of a sudden you will self-sabotage yourself. You'll say, me, I'm stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm this and that. And it's like, no, no, no. Always love yourself enough to do what's best for yourself. Always love yourself. Yeah, some people, some detractors might say, oh, well, they'll try because they're used to you being that self-hating stuff that's like self-sabotaging themselves. And they'll say, yeah, you, you're being narcissistic. You're, you're being arrogant or anything like that. And it's like, OK, let them talk. You don't tell yourself that. You know you're not arrogant. You know you're not narcissistic. 
You know, you know you're not a bad person. You're that person that the Creator intended you to be. Think about it. Within you, regardless of your path, I'll say this. Y'all know I don't like promoting a specific spiritual path, but every single person has that spark of the Creator within them or whatever term they want to use. Every single person. So why you don't, don't hinder yourself. Don't do stuff to destroy your own progress. Don't be your own worst enemy. I want y'all to just uh, think about that. Just sit back and think about that. Don't be your own worst enemy. Always do, always, always love yourself enough to do what's best for yourself. When you love yourself, you shoot, you're not going to get into a toxic relationship because you feel you you feel you have more love for yourself than that. You're not going to take abuse on a job. You're not going to abuse your body with uh, substances that can deteriorate you. You're not going to even be uh, engaged in behaviors that can ultimately bring pain to you. You're not going to be your own worst enemy. So love yourself. You know, don't shut yourself down. Okay. So that's all I have uh, for today. Have a great rest of the um, Sunday. As always, rise and keep rising and transforming. Peace. Oh.